Okay guys, I'm back again. I'm just going to show you how I refill the bobbin. I was on earlier. Every time I get this much left on the spool, I can't use it, it sort of jams up and whatever. Throw that out. Alright. Now, um. That spool thing that's on the uh, machine, that's a piece of shit. Haven't had time to, um do anything with it. See if I can just show you that. Probably can't see it. That's this thing here. It's just as weak as piss. I don't know it probably needs adjusting but I don't like it. Alright let's get back here. I just quickly hand wind it on there. Put a few turns on to start it. I'll just cut the uh, end bit off. get the screwdriver and I tilt, tilt the uh, reel on an angle. I've cut my nail so now I can't grab it. And I'll just wind it on. Doesn't take too long. Make sure you put it on evenly like uh, doing a fishing line. Keep it neat. Not too tight, not too loose. On the other two machines out there, I've got a uh, bobbin winder, but it doesn't fit this one, so I can't use that. And when you get crappy, see that, the twist? Try and avoid the twist, because when it's in there, and uh, it gets some slack in there, it does twist and then jams up in the hole. In that hole in there. I mean, there's plenty of tutorials that uh, show you this, but I thought I'd do it just in case. There's a lot of twist in this uh, thread. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. Uh, try and get the twist out. Round and around we go. Don't lose it. That nail in there. Yeah. Don't overfill it because then it uh, jams up in there. Just keep going. Can you see that? Am I out of camera range? I don't know. Let's just keep going. Alright, that'll do for now. Just cut that. See, as soon as you cut it, it just frays on the end. There. Frays on the end. 
bonded nylon is a bit hard to fray like that. So I don't think it's very good uh, thread. That's another reason why it breaks in there and it jams up. Alright. Let me just pull some out because there's plenty of twists there. Keep going out of camera range. Can't really help it. Alright, I can't do very good close ups. thread a bit. You probably can't see this, but I put it in the first hole to my right. As soon as I can get it in there. There, like so. So see the twist in the thread? I don't like that. Alright, wind a bit of that back on. That'll do. Pop it back out, probably can't see anything. Now I'm not sure whether you put it in with the thread on this side or turn it over and the thread on that side. But I've been putting it this way. Down. Okay. And you've got this tension spring here. Let's see if I can put it on without... Uh... Oh yeah. Oh, I've done it. That's the first. Usually you have to loosen it or get this thing and poke underneath and lift it up and pass the thread through it. Alright, now we put it up that hole. I hope you can see this. I'm not just wasting my time here. Alright. Now we put it up that uh, first hole in line with the other one that I put in. I can find the hole, eyesight shit. I wear double glasses and still my eyesight shit. Alright, like that. And just uh, push that up a bit. Like so. Alright. Put that in. Like so. There's a little groove there. Make sure it's right over it. Hold it down. Click this thing back. In position. Right. You do one, and it pulls the thread up, the bottom thread up. Let me get my 
the little thing I can't butter fingers here. Pull that out, push it back, and you're ready to go again. So well, that's all I wanted to show. Oh, and the thread that I was uh, taking, I wasn't winding it off like that. I was taking it up like that, and it still twists. Whether I'm doing it right, like I said, I don't know. But I'll look into it. Keep getting out of camera view there. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks, guys. <laughs>